In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a blog for your Joomla site and how to add that blog to your main menu. There are many popular blogging components available for Joomla, but we're going to use core Joomla features to create the blog. We'll start by returning to the back end and opening up our category manager. In the category manager, notice that I've created a new category, the Art Gallery Blog category, and that's important because the menu item we're going to create will pull articles from one category only. I'm also going to open up the Article Manager because at the top of this list you'll see that I've created three new articles and I've saved each of those articles into the Art Gallery Blog category. Again, important that each of the articles you want in your blog is saved in the same category. Next, let's open up our main menu. We're going to create a new item on the main menu, so we'll click on the New button, and as always, I'll add in a title, which will be Art Gallery Blog. And next, I want to select the menu item type. We've gone through a few menu item types, and we'll click on the Articles category for the menu item types, and we're going to select Category Blog. This is very similar to the featured article menu item type that we created in a previous tutorial. The difference though is that featured articles will feature multiple articles on one page and those articles can be saved in many categories. The category blog menu item will pull articles from one category only. Next, naturally, we'll be asked to select which category we'd like to pull articles from. And again, that will be the art gallery blog category. Finally, we'll want to make sure that we're featuring this menu item on our main menu. Let's go ahead and save this menu item. We'll return to the front end of our Joomla site and refresh the page. We'll see that the new menu item has been added, and if we select it, we'll see that we now have our three new blogs featured on the front end of our site. This really doesn't look like a blog though. In fact, it looks a lot like the Art Classes menu item, the featured articles menu item we created in a previous tutorial. That's because we set our global settings to display featured article and category blog menu items with three articles in three columns. We'll change the layout for our new menu item by returning to the back end and clicking on the Blog Layout tab. You may want to play around with the settings here to get the look that you're after. We'll go ahead and add one leading article here. We're going to allow five intro articles on our blog page, feature one column, and we'll have zero links. At this point, let's save the menu item, and we'll return to the front end of the page and refresh the page. We'll see that now our blogs appear in just one column, and all of our blogs still appear on one page because we're allowing five blogs to appear on this page. We can also display some more of the publishing features within each blog by returning to the back end and clicking on the Options tab. In our global settings, in a previous tutorial, we hid many of these features. But if we'd like to show our author, we can click on Show here, and that's just for this menu item. If I scroll down, I have some other options, and I'm going to show a few more of them, including the publish date, and the print icon. I also want to show the hits, the number of people that have hit on this blog. Let's go ahead and save this menu item now, and we'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page to see some of that publication information appear within each blog. Because I have linked titles, if I click on a title, the blog will appear in its own page. In the final tutorial of this series, I want to show you how to renew and back up your free Joomla site. 